Hi there, my name is Sarah. I don't do these kinds of videos often and I probably won't be doing one of these videos for a very long time. I think the last time I did like a makeup style video where I tried to do like a tutorial was me attempting to do like Eliza Koshy looking kind of makeup thing and that didn't go over well because I didn't know how to do makeup then. I still don't know how to do it now. Today is different though because one, I'm in the middle of taking a stage makeup class so therefore I have education. Not enough though because stage makeup is different than everyday makeup but that is a whole different video and concept in and of itself. Short hair problems, you don't know what to do with it, you just want to cut it all off but you also want to grow it out. Oh, I have extensions. No, I'm not going to do that today. It has been said that when you make videos on YouTube and it's your first time and you're really scared too at first, you vlog or you talk to the camera as if you're talking to your friends. Well, this one is actually for my friends. I asked on Instagram. I'm sorry, my tripod is moving. So sorry. Stability, please. I asked what kind of videos you guys like to watch on YouTube and a lot of my friends said makeup videos and gaming and drama, which I don't know how to do gaming because I don't have a system and I don't know how to do drama because drama's not my thing unless it's theater or acting. So I'm gonna attempt to do a makeup video today, yeah. Again, I'm not very good at this, but I wanted to try and see if I still got it or if I have it at all. Woohoo. I feel like this video is gonna be lengthy and chatty enough as it is, so I'm just gonna start with what I got. I have an audition today, so it's gonna be like an audition makeup tutorial thing for brown people with square oval face, Asian eyes. Cause you know a lot of people who do makeup videos, they're like, not what I look like. So I thought I'd show all my friends how I do my makeup for the stage auditions and stuff. Honestly, it depends. So I'm gonna say that first. If you are not my complexion, if you don't have my shape face or anything like that, it will depend on you. Not a lot of people preface that enough. So you can still watch if you want to, up to you. What I will say though, is that majority of these, I believe are drugstore. So a lot of these are pretty affordable if you cannot afford the high-end things. I also believe majority of these are cruelty free, so save the animals. Anyway, let us start. I use this e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer that was recommended to me by one of my designers at school, the hair and makeup designer. I'm not gonna be using a mirror. I'm gonna try to use this, which is my iPhone screen thing. It's purple, but it doesn't stay like that for too long. I don't wanna have to talk you through it just cause it's already a video and you can see it if you want. Or if you don't really care about these kinds of videos and you don't wanna support me anyway and you're just playing this video for white background noise. Thank you so much for watching anyway. I'm using this damp sponge brush, sponge, sponge, <laughs> makeup sponge. That's what it's called. It's from NYX. It was free because I bought too much things from them. So they were like, here, have one of these. And also, thank you so much. It's also old and dirty because I used this for the past like two shows that I was in. So what I'm gonna do is this. I feel like I should talk about something while I talk about putting my face on. I don't have a good like makeup setup so to speak, just because I, I don't do makeup often, but when I do, it's actually like this. So this is as raw and real as you're gonna get. I also usually watch a YouTube video just like everybody else, but I didn't want the background noise just in case I get found. <laughs> so I let that dry off for hot thick. While I do that, I'll work on my eyes, mainly my eyeshadow. I don't have eyeshadow primer, which I recommend to y'all, but if you don't, want to spend money on another product that's just gonna be for one thing. I am using my concealer, which I think I found out through um, Ava Gatowski or My Life is Ava from like ages ago when she was like, you can use your concealer. Oh, was that Adeline Morin? Yikes! You can use your concealer for eyeshadow primer and it works, apparently. So I'm using this NYX one, NYX, however you pronounce it. Studio Photogenic HD Concealer Corrector. I think it's just the same thing in French, but I don't know how to speak French, so I said it in my own way. I am the color Glow. This was recommended to me by one of the NYX employees who knows what they're doing. So it's CW06. It's the wand, and then I just kind of like do that. And I'm ready for Halloween. <laughs> no, kind of blend it out like this. She recommended this one to me because I needed something for shows because I told her I was gonna use it for 
eyeshadow primer and um, I needed something that will cover as well as brighten so she was all ah this one is a complexion either one of these two and I was like whichever the first one was <laughs> I'm lazy and I don't know what I'm doing so I'm banking on the expert I hope this video isn't too long for everybody I'm so sorry if it is but I'm new. So the first thing that I use for like the base of my eyes, uh, my eyelids, not my actual eyes. How many times am I gonna say eyes in this video? Is this Naked Basics by Urban Decay. I've had this palette for years. Oh, how booty guru is this? I use this one mainly just as a base because it works well with my eyes. Let me get my eyeshadow brush and I'll show you. Introducing my dirty eyeshadow brush um, that I haven't cleaned since American Clock. So I just take that. Do a little, oh, that's why they don't like doing it because you can see stuff like, that's creepy. I use this because I can't see because I usually wear glasses and I don't wear eye contacts because I don't like sticking things in my eyeball. Oh, also it's recommended, um, which I learned from doing shows as well, that you start off with your left side of your face, your left side of your face. The left side of your face or somebody else's face, whichever, or if you're doing somebody else's face. That way you can just match it on your right. If you're right-handed, it's a lot easier because right-handed, you're doing your right side. Your left, you know, and then you match it, and if it's too dark on one side, and you can just fix it later. If you don't know what you're doing, you just throw everything on and hope it looks good. Cool. So then I'm done with this brush. Let me get the other one. Fada. Another hack is I take my bronzer. I'm not done yet with my eyes. I'm still going on my eyes, but I take my bronzer, which is NYX. I'm a fan of NYX, can't you tell? It's the matte bronzer in the color. I am in the color dark tan, which is MBB04. I just take my blender brush thing. It's very basic. I use this as like the transition color or whatever it is. I don't have a crease. Well, I do, but it's like right here. So I make one. Makeshift crease, let's go. And then I just start from the outside and I go in. That was way too high, don't look at that. Ew, that's gross. I'm in a weird kind of mood today, I'm so sorry. I like that, so I'm gonna do it on the other side. Cool, is that good? I hope so. Anyway, it looks something like this, and then I wanna add more depth to like the outer corners of my eyes, so I'm gonna use this, this guy right here. It's the color Faint. Paint. My base color was the WOS. Don't know what that stands for, but WOS. The cool thing about having, I guess, mono lids is that once you put your eyeliner on, nothing will matter. <laughs> okay, so typically what I do after that is I start to put the foundation on because the primer will have set by now. If you are doing this for stage, what I would recommend, because one of my friends found this out, is once you put your primer on, you can use your setting spray, whatever setting spray you use, spray that on, and then do everything else and setting spray it again. Especially if you're in dance and you tend to have like an oily or a very sweaty kind of face, that'll help keep the makeup on a lot longer through your like hours of dance. Not doing that now, but I'll get to that later. Little tips, little hacks for you. So, I'm auditioning for a musical today. I don't like when my hair does that, but oh well. There is a dance call, and I am one of those oily, sweaty face people, so what I use is this Revlon Color Stay Matte Finish SPF 15. Unfortunately, this one is not cruelty free, <clears throat> but there's something in my throat. But I do use this one because Megan Batoon used it in one of her dance videos and it actually works for the skin that I have. This I think was like my winter shade, so yikes. So my summer skin tone is like, um, this is not correct because according to the encyclopedia, I really like that vine. Anyway, <clears throat> back to this. This is why I can't be like a makeup tutorial beauty guru person. I guess for sanitation sake, so you don't get more oils on your face, you're gonna wanna put it on your beauty blender thing, but I don't do that because it's fine. You get a little bit of this and squeeze it a little bit and then I go on the top forehead. Oh, hack. You're gonna wanna put this, if you have like bags under your eyes and you wanna hide it more, I'm gonna put that down because I'm scared. Um, do that. Why? Oh, I put too much on my forehead. So I'm gonna take it from my forehead and do this because wherever you put your product on first, on your face, that's where majority of the product will stay and it'll cover more. So 
That's what I learned from my stage makeup class. The entire semester, that's all I'm gonna use. By the way, this color is um, 370 Toast, and it's combination oily skin. Let me do one of these things, cause you know, fancy. By the way, speaking of uh, brown people doing entertainment and stuff, or people of color doing entertainment, have any of you guys ever been to an audition where you go in and you're as prepared as you can be, and then you go into the audition room and the casting director sees you? You know that they aren't giving you the best attention as an actor or as an artist, as other actors who may not be of color. No shade, but kind of shade, I guess. I went to an audition recently and a lot of other auditioners were not of color and I could kind of hear how the audition is going because it was just a curtain between the lobby and the actual theater space where they were holding the auditions and I heard the casting director go more into depth with about the characters and like the abilities of these actors and so I was like, okay, they're gonna be expecting this, this, this of me. And then I go in and it's just super basic and it's just one time read through. Um, she even gave me like one note and then that was it. They had the casting that night and I was not in it. And it just made me feel a little bit unwanted <laughs> because of how I looked. But yeah, if any of you guys have an experience with that, Let's throw some shade in the comp. No, I'm just kidding. Don't throw any shade. Um, the thing about this industry is that it's very small. Everybody knows everybody in this in this business. But I mean, I feel like that's very important because a lot of actors, a lot of artists work just as hard as a lot of other people. So they should get the same amount of attention and recognition as someone who is white, you know? And if you're offended by that, then that's on you, man. I understand if I'm not as talented or I'm not as skilled or trained as somebody else and then, you know, I'm all, okay, that makes sense. They could have done that better than I could or sometimes the director has a different vision that doesn't involve me or anything about my abilities. But if it's race or skin color, man, that's just a huge turnoff is what I'm going to say about that. I'm gonna take the same concealer and do one of these things under my eye. Like a half triangle type deal. Um, I also have a problem spot right here. Where else am I having problems? <laughs> in here. And then a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I said a little bit. That was a lot more than a little bit. Whoops. Also, can you tell I am not looking at the actual lens of the camera? I keep looking over here because I'm talking to myself apparently. Oh, so going back to like the actors of color because this is something I'm very passionate about. I believe times are changing. There are a lot more people of color who are really being put out there and who are talented and deserve it. And I hope it is opening the eyes of casting directors and producers everywhere that we are just as cool and talented as all y'all other people as well. So give us a chance, please, because we are also training just as hard and sometimes harder than people who are lighter skinned, I guess, the white people, okay? I'm just gonna say it, the white people. And I'm not saying that anyone is horrible or bad, I'm not criticizing any actors or any artists, but man, help us out, all right? We, we want this too. So after I put the concealer and foundation on and I blend that everywhere, I'm going to use some powder. The NYX Mineral, set it and don't fret it. Matte finishing powder in the shade, what is this? medium slash dark. I'm gonna take a foundation brush, I think. It's Hourglass, number two. This is old. I feel like a lot of these products that I'm using right now were also featured in that other video, which was like, what, two, three years ago? That's embarrassing. Little life hack with this um, loose powder. Either hold your breath or start breathing out when you get to like this area. That way you don't inhale it. Whoops, I already did my eyebrows earlier. Oh well, I'll just do it again. One of my insecurities is the fact that I have no eyebrows, so I do this every day. Usually my everyday makeup is just face moisturizer and then 
eyebrows and then I just leave my face like that because I don't want to have to do a full face every day, especially if I have dance classes. It's useless to me. I guess you would also want your hair pulled back for this reason, but we already here. Um, I guess I'll put blush on. The label has come off, but it's NYX, again, surprise, in the color Mocha. This one is actually a little bit too light for me, just cause like, look at it. But it's also very pigmented. So I'm only gonna use a little bit, a little, just a little bit, see that? Smile. See, that's why it's just a little bit and it's not like BAM pink. And if I have any extras, I'll put some like on the top forehead, bridge the nose, and right here. Then I go back to the bronzer and then hit it where you would want to be bronzed. I usually like do one of these like Jim Carrey things and then Now it's not as bad. Yeah, um, I'll do highlight, sure, why not? I don't have a highlighter, so I just use an eyeshadow palette. And this one is the M Cosmetics one. I don't know what color it is or what the title of it is, just cause it's all like that. Just use any like light, shimmery eyeshadow thing and then you just... Keep my eyebrows pretty simple. Um, I did them already, but I don't really use anything else except for this NYX NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And the color I use is Espresso. Oh, bam! I just kind of like follow the shape of my eyebrows and I don't add any powder or anything to it just because it's strong enough as it is. So I start kind of like on the outside. Oh, I'm starting on my right side. Whatever. Oh no. I have made mistake. This video might as well have been sponsored by NYX. Actually, don't sponsor me. I don't know what I'm doing with your products. Then I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner and mascara. I use NYX, of course, as usual, because it's nice, it's easy, and it works for me. I use the Epic Ink Liner in the color black for my eyeliner, and then the mascara is the NYX Worth the Hype in the color black slash noir. Now, I'm not very good at this as it is, so I'm gonna go to my bathroom, I'm gonna get all that done, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'll be a little bit more ready. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do a tutorial on how to do your cat eyeliner, cause I don't know how this is gonna come out. May be good, may not be good, we'll see. And then to curl my eyelashes, I've got this Eyelash curler from Daiso, actually. When you curl your eyelashes, which I learned from Megan Mattoon, she's a queen, you'll put it in, put your eyelashes like right here in between and then clamp it and then do like a that action to like add more volume to it. So, I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back. Change of plans. So I did my eyeliner and I'm letting it dry, which I messed up. Don't look at this, just look at this one. Wow, look at it. Before I put mascara on, I'm gonna do a little setting spray just to make sure this all stays and then put the mascara on after. Next to the rescue, we added again matte finish long lasting setting spray. Close your mouth, close your eyes, don't breathe. And then you do one of these things to like let it dry fully. Curl your lashes. I was just gonna, <laughs> like this was gonna explain everything. All right, anyway, can you see it? Would you wanna see it? If you do, then here it is. If not, then you can keep doing your homework or whatever it is you're doing. I usually just do one coat, sometimes two, if it doesn't work out as great as I wanted it to. Every time I put mascara on or I curl my lashes, it reminds me of that one episode of Girl Meets World now. By that, brings out your eyes. Why would I wanna take out my eyes? She's not taking out her eyes. And I think she is. You know what I'm talking about? If not, that's okay. So before I started doing makeup a lot more often, I used to watch videos kind of like this, but better, on how to do it. And every time people got to mascara, they would be like, I'm sorry, I'm one of those people who like has their mouth open while they do mascara. So they're like, you know? So because of that, I decided to make sure my mouth is shut. So I just do this so I don't get judged. Oh, we're almost done, we're almost done. You got this, keep going. Every once in a while, you need a little bit of encouragement to boost your self-esteem. I mean, it doesn't make much of a difference, but it helps out a little bit. All right, and then to finish off the look, you gotta put some lips on 
which you could just go in with some chapstick and then just leave it as natural as possible, but I'm not doing that. Y'all, NYX is at it again. I use this NYX or NYX lip lingerie in the color seduction. This one stays on pretty all right, and it's kind of close to my actual lip color, but not really. It's like more red. She's done! For those of you who want to see a makeup thing, here you go. Alright, so that is how I do my face for auditions mainly, for musicals. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!